What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Microsoft Flow and we are talking about creating CSV tables. So let's take a look at it. I'm in Microsoft Flow now. Um, we've got a couple of steps in here already, and I'm going to add a new step. So we go in here, built in, data operations, and then we have this one for create CSV table. So what does create csv table do create csv table allows you to take an array that you've got in your um your microsoft flow and allows you to parse that and put that into a csv table this can be then used to create files or inject into some other system some other way so let's take a look so the step i've got previously here is initializing a initialize a variable all we're doing is creating an array and we've got some data in that array. This could be a dynamic array that we're getting back from somewhere else. Uh, but in this, in this example, I'm just creating it in here. So uh, we click on the from and we look at our uh, dynamic content and we've got the list here. So we put that in. And then we've also got show advanced options. So for advanced options, we can have the column headers be automatic, i.e. take it from the array or we could have custom and then we could specify a header and then specify what value in the array that kind of relates to. For this example, we're just going to use automatic, do that. And then we hit test, hit save and test. And then we go to run flow. Uh, we get the green message saying it ran successfully. And we can see as we expand the create CSV table, we've got the array that's come in. So um, this bit up here, and then the output is first name or first, last, and email. And then we've got the array parsed into this CSV line. So it's kind of included a header, and we've also got the array parsed into this CSV sign table. This could be really useful, especially if you're doing a lot of integrations. Uh, it can be really useful if you need to create CSV files to then output somewhere or go on a server. So yeah, uh, what do you guys think? If you've got any use cases, I'd love to know what you're using this for. Please put them in the comments down below. Uh, if you liked the video, please like and share with a friend and subscribe to my channel. Ciao for now.